Sean's line, but <laughs> he might have a little more hair. Than me. Maybe actually, <laughs> both of them might have a little more hair. Than me. Come on, dude. What I like in hair, I make up for in something. Else. Nice pushback by this Fear. This is gonna be your first blood. Ah, uh, yep. Ooh. One more auto attack gets the kill. And All the right, fairy Jay fire Storm. on the Will O Wisp. You call either protect it or keep them inside of it for it to flicker again. Um, there's also some neat combos they do have coming out with the Coddle. Coddle plus oh, Axe nice. is really strong. Is Insania. Insania. He's on the feet train here. No Fairy Fire this time. And Brax takes the last hit this time. Pro onto Insania. But Insania also managed to get Brax low as he was tanking the Creep Wave. Mickey's joining this. Suddenly, three heroes for Liquid coming in. Moose leaps out. Mickey's there to greet him. The call, though, will pull in the toss. Doesn't get the spins he needs. So they lose the Ancient Apparition. All right. I'm Insane liking this game a lot. Already. This is three great. to one. Brax this time. Stepped a bit far now afterwards and will be. <gasps> uh, he's okay. <laughs> Four, but, uh, you know, we'll take it. Mid yep. lane, mid lane. Oh! oh! No! A TA needed that one. That would have, like, completely turned the lane around. That is that is massive. They're putting pressure on their lanes. They're getting the runes, too. Brax. Are they going to lose Brax, or is he going to get a couple of kills here? He's got a call. He's got some help. One down. Are they going to get more? Mickey's trying to fight it out. They need some bashes. Battle Hunger comes through. One more auto attack. It's not enough. Mickey's in danger here. Moose has the arrow. He's going to turn back for the safer, easier kill. Go for the Ancient Apparition. Snowball in. Will and Brax. A bit of hubris for him. And Moose now still trying to find that Insania pickoff. He's going to have one more leap. Gets Ooh. to the high ground. Almost got corralled in with the tree there instead. Regen bottling up, whips the arrow, still goes down. Brax, he's isolated down by bottom, Mickey. Kind of playing around, he's a bit afraid of these spins. Oh, arrow comes in though, big connection on the Tuscar. He shoots and he scores, and now Mickey's got to back off. Ooh, he was, trying to, he was trying to hit him over the shards, but he actually couldn't. Just like that, they're going to go on nine though. This could really turn things around, has the fresh refraction. They jump up, they commit, nine, sentry com drops down just to make sure they get this kill. The blinding light from fear. Oh my god. He gets out. Huge. And while that was happening, they got another kill. Bottom. And they Mickey. keep on going. They've got to call a couple more spins with an arrow. Star Storm Ooh. doesn't have the mana for it. Had the stick charges. I think he was at like 244 or something health. He definitely would have got Mickey wants to go. He's got Chrono. He's going to commit it for the axe here. Moose just waiting on the side of it, waiting for his arrow to cool down. The axe call comes through, but the snowball to dodge it. Very nicely played by Taiga. And so J-Storm do lose their prized axe. Being smoked up, wanting to jump. They're going to go on nine. This is a pretty deep dive, and there's an immediate response with the TP coming in. Moose is there. Nine is dead, though. Do they get a counter kill? It's only a Mirana and a Keeper. And a four hero rotation. They've got a chrono. They're going to walk right into Brax. Backup is here, though. Nine comes in. Mickey looking for the clean opening. Doesn't have it. Goes after Fear. Storm's going to commit. They really want this Keeper of the Light, but that's leaving Brax free to do whatever he wants on the backside. He gets the dunk, gets the kill. AA down. And now chasing for Taiga. They're probably losing both supports. Trap committed. Mickey, he's TP back for this. He gets off the chrono sphere. At least saves his buddy for the time being. Will end up falling, though. Brax. Has the call, couldn't get it off in time. Time walks out, and now Koikva, relatively low on mana. Oh, arrow, nice dodge. Uh, he's going to be fine for now. Wants to re-engage, but bottling Brax, him up. Brax juking. They're going to, they have no more leaps on Moose. Gets off the Star Storm. Decent damage done onto Koikva, but they'll just sack the Marana. And Koikva will get a killing. Jumping in, going on to nine. The snowball comes through. They don't connect on the shards. The Ice Blast also going to miss. Whoa. Now Moose comes in. He eats the punch. He eats the Ice Blast. He takes an unnecessary bullet as nine was out of there. But the trade might be Taiga. No, Taiga's going to live. Chasing after the HF apparition as well. They'd like to get multiple kills here. Chain forward. Oh, the damage. That's what you like to see. And they get the catch on Boxy. So it's going to be two and a Chrono. For basically nothing, some power damage, I suppose. Big mistakes there from Liquid. Already in the Brax, most important spot. Catching out in Sania, I believe was trying to TP. Well, he'll get a trip back to the fountain, but not the one he was hoping for. Nice. Just going for full armor items, it looks like. Yeah, buckler into a medallion. Solar oh, Brax is gonna, oh, he found him. Didn't actually get the call, but forced Boxy to cancel his own TP, and now they can chase. Coming in from behind his fear, can blast him back, set up Brax. Give him that call, just needs to get a little bit closer. Chain coming through, Chakram as well. The slow, the call, and the kill. Everything for J-Storm, and nine.
map control out of it, and you're not risking anything. Oh, you're getting a call too. Sets up the arrow, drags him away from the creep. Snowball dodge, very nice. Uh, will o wisp though. Follow-ups there from nine. Scores the kill. The tower's going to be next. Ice Blast does connect on two, but uh, Mu going to be building a completed Bloodstone at 17 minutes. Uh-oh. Mickey. They're looking for him. The Bash Bros are onto him. Brax is there fear. with the Battle Hunger. Fear as well. Blinding Light back into a call chain combo. Can they burst this void down? Oh, he gets the Time Bash. Walk away. But oh, Another man. call. All right. Blink call. Uh, jump. Finds Quake, but this is a big one. Look for the double call. Don't Look even for the hate dunk. It. <laughs> Position. He they could. want this coddle. He could and they found catch him. them. They're going to jump it with the instant call. Koikva getting caught by the Ignis. He's going to pop instantly. <laughs> Mickey comes in, though. Has the Chronosphere. He catches out two. I don't think he's killing this Marana quickly. He's going to have to commit everything for it. Legion gives him the attack speed. Just doesn't have the damage. It's a buyback recommitment from three heroes on Liquid. Mickey's still going to go down. Is he going to buy back as well? Not sure it matters. Mid lane first. Now the call. Quick initiation on Boxy. Nine is there. The follow-up comes through. Ooh. Dead. 80 seconds. Still too. waiting on the Void Chrono. It's going to be too late. They'll There's lose Arax. They're probably losing Trines next. I mean, yeah, and, and Jay Storm are just saying they can't fight us even with their cooldowns. There's no Legion. And even if there were, I'm not sure it would matter. Moose already rotated mid. Knight's going to finish up the range. They're going to try to end this game before 30 minutes. Yeah. I mean, Moose at 80 HP per second. Look at this. No cares. Takes the reactive armor stacks as well, since they're tanking. This, this I is mean, Mickey's, Mickey's trying to backdoor tier ones. Jay Storm are coming for your base. You got to do something. They're waiting for Koikva's Orchid. Something is. Koikva's Orchid is about oh, look 80 at this. gold away, but look it's... at this. There's a Moonlight Shadow. Arrow in the river. Oh, just going to miss. And even if the... I guess even if they hit the Void, he's still going to get away. But yeah, they've lost their base. Two lanes, two melees. J-Storm are hunting. Out, Snowball. Oh, it's just going to clip him. I think the TP might have completed time. Would have been close, but in any case, Mickey. There to look to finish him up, but Brax with the big save, comes in with the call, gets off the battle hunger, the follow-up call comes through, Fear with the distant chakram, dunk, oh, rims out. Mickey has the, the chrono, is this the opening, is this the opening, oh no, they made toast him, they're controlling him, here comes the call, round number three, and this one, the death of Mickey, three heroes dead, no buybacks, make it four, the end is upon Liquid, as J Storm Cleanly move over to that top lane. Oh, Koikva had his Orchid gold, but Nine shows up with his own Orchid because he's snowballed like crazy on TA already that he has an Orchid as well on top and easily gets the solo kill as they, yeah, clean up that last Rex. And this is looking in the books. Man, two very stompy games in a row. Game one just felt like there was no hope for J Storm, almost based on the draft. Game two, you know, obviously Liquid's draft looks pretty well rounded, but they just got run over in the lanes. Yeah. His bottom lane went, I mean, all the lanes went great, right? Mid lane, nine, it still went pretty even, I would say. He, and then he just backs up and farms stacks. Fear had some super clutch early game moves. I felt like he saved a couple people with these that blinding one, lights. Uh, that one blinding light mid, yeah. where it like, knocked them to the low ground, that was huge. So it's now Mega Creeps, <laughs> sub 30 minutes. And Liquid not ready to call the GG. They will fight on for now. I think they maybe just... I don't see a way back in this This one is where them. you're strategizing for game three, perhaps? Yeah. I don't. They don't have the heroes to keep the waves out. I mean, Mjolnir is finished on the Void, so he can, but... Yeah, the rest of them is pretty impossible. So they're, they're going to look for a fight. If they 5-0 wipe them, maybe they, they're just going to be like, all right, let's go. 5-0 wipe, you're probably looking at like a 8k gold swing or something. Yeah, so maybe, yeah. That could do like it. That. Vicky's going to run into Moo initially. He's actually got a three-hero chrono right now. He Ooh. gets it off, too, with okay. the Ice Blast. Is this the opening that Liquid have been waiting for all game long? Moo is the pipe. He can't get it off. Oh He's going to go down in double buyback instantly, but the rest of the squad joins. Nine moving in, drops the trap. Oh. Does catch two on the high ground, looking for Insania, trying to finish him off, but his BKB is committed. He may have overextended, not respecting them here on the high ground. Goes up there by Taiga. They're working on him. They're working on him. They're going to get the TA2. That's three heroes finished off. Liquid did lose three of their own. Void dead, Storm dead, AA dead. Obviously, on paper, a win for Liquid as far as gold goes, but now the base is in jeopardy. They're just going straight in. Yeah, they can just look to climb. They can just look to end it. Nine even buying back aggressively. 
drone time. Yeah, no chrono, no storm, no AA. Still got about 15 seconds, and these are these are not regular creeps. These are me mega creeps. Oh, Mecha time walking dangerously right through the arrow. Boxy. Boxy Try. also backing off. Moo just says, let's kill buildings, guys. Buildings are the goal here. Ignis as they snowball their way out of it, but also deep behind enemy lines. Taiga trying to make it back one direction, Boxy dragging them the other, but the creeps are just working on these buildings. Mickey so dangerously low. With the Mjolnir, tries to keep the base up. The creeps keep on marching in. Mickey GG. gets ensnared, and the GG is called. A stomp into a counter stomp, and we're going to a game three. Yeah, this one, J Storm looks to have a, I mean, infinitely better draft across the board. I think just everything. They can actually make aggressive plays.